Hi Pirates, I'm Michael. And I'm Joss. And we're here with your weekly Spyglass News. Auditions for Drama Club's next musical, Little Women, are today. Everyone is invited to join the wonderful Drama Club. You can pick up an audition or crew form in the theater if you're interested. Yeah, I'll definitely be grabbing one of those crew forms. On another note, if you're interested in engineering, here's a video talking about their brand new club, Precious Plastics. Hello, who am I here with today? Do you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, I'm Mr. Wendorf, uh, engineering teacher and club advisor for Precious Plastic. Could you tell me a little bit about Precious Plastics? Uh, Precious Plastic is inspired by a global project by Dutch designer Dave Hackens, and he created machines that allow people to do small-scale plastic recycling. And for us here at Morro Bay High School, we have ourselves a shredder. Um, we're building up our collection of plastic processing machines, and uh, we're able to collect and process our own plastic into usable products. What days does the club meet? Uh, we meet Wednesdays at lunch, every Wednesday. So if you're not in Precious Plastics Club, how else can you contribute? Students could contribute to this project by bringing in clean, label-free plastic like bottle caps, um, empty bottles without labels, even your black lunch trays. And it's best if you can remove the label from the bottles it should be a number two or a number five you can find on the bottom of your product. Some products that we're currently able to make are uh, sheets of plastic that can be processed and cut into more intricate shapes. Um, here's a sheet that's been cut down into kind of some more intricate shapes um, for earrings. Uh, we also had our first product sales of coasters um, that we sold at our showcase at the Ed Foundation Gala. That looks super fun. I would love to join. It sounds super cool. Up next, we have some news for our seniors. Seniors, are you considering Quest as an option once you graduate from MDHS? If so, we have an opportunity for you. Promise Day provides all seniors the opportunity to go onto Cuesta's slow campus and discover what Cuesta College has to offer. Students will have the chance to learn about academic programs and talk to Cuesta staff. Cuesta Promise Day will be held on November 16th from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. To attend, your parent or guardian must fill out the permission slip sent out via ParentSquare. Additionally, you will need to fill out a student registration form for Cuesta, which has been posted on the Counseling Google Classroom. Both of these items need to be completed no later than November 6th in order to attend. Lunch will be included and transportation is provided. Information will also be provided about the Cuesta Promise which provides two years of fee-free college to Slow County High School graduates. Please email Mrs. Hoyt with any questions about the promise or regarding this field trip. Coming up next, Lucas with sports. To start, Varsity Football has their first CIF home game tomorrow against East Bakersfield at 7 p.m. On Tuesday, we also had our first CIF game for boys water polo and the boys beat Strathmore in round one and will head to Clovis East today for their quarterfinal game. They'll be hosting the playoff games until the CIF finals. Their first game was yesterday and they took the win against Menachee. They'll play their second game at home on, sec on Saturday at 11 a.m. Great work, Pirates. Moving on, Slow County Championships had happened last Saturday for cross country at the Laguna Lake Golf Course. Our team continued to run PRs with some runners improving by over two minutes for the 5K. Our top runners were Eli Waldman, Lucas McAlpine, and Nathan Fuller for boys. For the girls, the team placed third, right behind Arroyo Grande, and we had three pirate girls finish in the top 10, Shelby Taylor in second, Wendy Wilson in eighth, and Lily Buller in ninth. This weekend, they'll run in their league finals. Run fast, pirates. With winter sports kicking off this week, I'll send it over to Tyler for an update on our basketball teams. Hello, who am I here with today? Fiona. Taylor. Whoa. And Jake. <laughs> when does basketball start? Uh, two weeks. November 14th is our first game. 
Yeah, same with us, two weeks. Uh, when are tryouts for any students that are wanting to participate? Um, this week, right now. Yeah, our tryouts are this week, so uh, if you haven't made it yet, make sure to come on today and Friday. If you ate pizza, what three topics would you pick and why? Uh, pineapple, cheese, and mm, pepperoni. Um, cheese, artichoke, and sausage, probably. As an Italian myself, there's only three right answers. It's pepperoni, sausage, and basil. We also have an interview with Justin this week, this time with our wonderful wrestling teams. Take it away, Justin. My name is Justin Estrada, and with me I got... Alexis Terry, Aiton Elberberg. From the girls' wrestling team. So, why did you guys join wrestling? Um, I was like sitting outside, and I seen like it going on, and it seemed like really fun. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna join. Um, I did it for my sister and my coach as well. They just motivated me to do it. What benefits do you get from wrestling? Like, what do you like about it so much? Um, I gained a lot of like mental and physical strength. Um, same thing here. Um, it's like you build your a strong mind, not just a body. If you had to encourage anyone to join wrestling, what would you tell them? Um, I would tell them I didn't like know if I was gonna like it at first, but I do, and it's really fun. Um, same thing, actually. <laughs> Uh, when are the practices, guys? Um, we have them after school from 3.45 to 5.30. All right, you heard it, guys. If you want to join wrestling, uh, 3.45 to 5.30. Last but not least, our surf team won against Ventura last weekend in Pismo, and they're now 2-0. First place finishers included Otis Kelly for men's longboard, Adrina Asuncion for women's longboard, and Reno Hallmeyer placed second for bodyboard. Thank you, Pirates. I'll see you next week. Thanks for the update, Lucas. Good luck to all of our fall sports in their playoff runs. On Tuesday, ASB hosted our annual costume contest. There were a total of five categories, a total of 19 entries. Congrats to the winners from each category. Here's some footage from the event. Costumes. Yeah, my favorite was probably Finn Lewis, dressed as a detective. For sure. That one was pretty cool. We also wanted to highlight some amazing costumes that weren't in the contest. Let's take a look. What are you dressed up as? A psycho jester. I'm a skeleton today. I'm Finn the human. What inspired your costume? Um, nothing. A friend handed it to me and I was like, yes, that is so me. Um, I've, I've done this costume a few years and I usually I like doing makeup I maybe it's like art teacher I'm not really a person who wears a lot of makeup but I like to do fun makeup I'm not really good at great at it but where did you get your costume spirit Halloween Amazon those were some awesome costumes too I hope everyone had a fun and safe Halloween finally don't forget that there is no school tomorrow but you should still come out to support our football team Tickets are still free for all students. Free CIF tickets? That's awesome. Kickoff starts at 7 against East Bakersfield. Make sure to wear blue and show your school spirit. Well, that's all we have this week, Pirates. Have a great long weekend. Bye!